if you are having problems with your no slide to crook, especially on a curb, maybe this video is right for you. What's up, y'all? This is Segatron, and today we're gonna teach you how to do a slappy no slide to crooked grind. First step, get really good at slappy no slides. You need a good slappy no slide to make a slappy no slide to crook happen. Step two, get really good at slappy crooks. You need to get your slappy crooked grinds grinding. Step three is the actual technique of the trick. You need to raise your leg. Let me show you. One of the most common issues that I would have when I was first learning this trick would be just not getting being able to get in there. And so that raising your foot part should also be combined with kind of scooching forward. And so that way it makes it easier for you to raise your foot. So you see now I'm just like in crook as you scooch forward. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that one. And like once you get comfortable, you know, you can do all kinds of tricks, bro. So, you know, the sky is the limit. Sometimes, if the ledge isn't going, you just got to wax it a little bit more especially when you're trying to put a lot of pressure onto the ledge to do it. Always use plenty of wax. All right, so this is taking like, I don't know, it's taken me like five or 10 tries to get this warmed up. So, so you can see the trick isn't even that easy, but uh, I just got one. I want to do another one for you guys. But as you can see some of the common problems, just like not getting it in there, right? Not getting your foot up in the air, not getting in the nose slide right, not grinding the crook right. So all those little things, they come in handy, you know, just to still struggle on it later, but Hey, it's skateboarding. That was the one. That was the one I was I was going for, you know? A nice good slide good crook call it a day you know so that's a no slide to crook hope you learned something 